Have you ever had grannies that cook zero tastes exactly the same as the full fat cook? You're a liar. Why are you lying? <laughs> I pretty much have like a full face of new makeup to try and test today. I had treated myself to a couple of new bits and pieces from Beauty Bay, like their own branded products that they've newly came out with. And I've been sent some new bits and pieces in PR, so let's just get into it. I was sent this from Milk Makeup. It's their new primer and setting spray. So obviously it just opens up like so. And then on one side we have the primer. And then on the other side we have the setting spray. Do you know it's not even hot outside. But I am absolutely roasting. I swear to God. It's like, <laughs> you think my armpits are crying? <laughs> That's the primer. And apparently it is a lightweight water cream based primer. That creates a smooth base to... Blur, blur, <laughs> blur and minimise the look of pores and shine for a long lasting matte finish. I'm going to take a wee bit of this just on the back of my hand because I want to kind of see what the texture's like. I'm actually going to take a tiny wee bit and just kind of put it around my T-zone. I actually wasn't going to use this at all but I might as well give it a go. Who knows, I might like it. It actually feels more moisturising and more creamy than an actual pore fill and primer. You know like the professional from Benefit? <clears throat> that's just like an ick to me. Like the feeling of those primers. Nada. Nah. Yeah that's not bad actually because it doesn't actually have that silicone feel. It does a wee bit. It's got like a wee bit of a slither to it. <laughs> like see if you have oily skin, yeah it might be doing it for you but because I've dry skin my skin's probably like no! <laughs> Oh goodness, yeah. Wow. Okay. Oh my god, I said that like Owen Wilson there. Can you see how much that has smoothed my teaser when I like here? Wow. Wow. <laughs> I'll obviously come back to the set and spray, but I'm gonna try another primer. I'm so excited to try this. This is of course brand new from Beauty Bay and it is their glow filter. So this is obviously like a wee dupe, an affordable option for the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. The packaging is actually quite nice. Just wee squeezy tube and then we have our pump. These wee products can be worn alone for a really nice wee glow to the skin. Or they can be worn under makeup as a G base. So... Yeah. I got the shade a BB103. I really wasn't too sure what shade to get. I didn't want to get anything that was too light and thank god I didn't go for anything darker. <laughs> oh shit. I'm not too sure if you can see how patchy it is and that's just for the simple fact that it's, I think it's just too dark. Whereas if it obviously was matching my skin a wee bit better, it wouldn't look as patchy. Does that make sense? It's just not my shade and that just wouldn't be fair because that's obviously a me problem. <laughs> it's nothing to do with the products, trust me. But as I was sitting there, like you can see my forehead, it looked perfectly fine. Like there's a nice wee glow and dew coming through. It's, yeah, it's actually really nice looking on my forehead, but everywhere else, because it's the wrong colour, it's just a patchy mess looking, to be honest. So I don't actually have any foundation to try, so I'm just going to use a good old favourite. This is Be Perfect Promo Cover, and this is in the shade N5. La -da 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 -da. Mm -hmm. That's a shame. I was actually really looking forward to trying that. <laughs> Damn it. This is just the wee collection lasting perfection concealer. So fun fact about this order, or the Beauty Bay order I had done that came at the start of the week there. Uh, long story short, I nearly set my kitchen on fire. <laughs> I can laugh about it now. Yeah, we, we can all laugh about it now, but obviously at the time. And I, of course, live somewhere where we get no signal. So I've always said to Kyle, like, see if I burn the house down or if I'm getting attacked or robbed or worse, or if I fall down the stairs and I need an ambulance or police or whatever, like, who do I call? <laughs> do I just send a pigeon <laughs> to somebody? We're not that far out, but we're far out enough to the point where we get shit Wi-Fi and no signal or data or anything. So hopefully nothing like that ever happens but I was basically standing in the kitchen unpacking this order. I had a wee tea light sitting 
um, well, a wee tea light in one of those like oil burner things, so that was grand. Obviously, I was getting everything out of the packaging, and obviously, like the more products I was lifting out of the box, there was less room, so I moved a pile of cardboard over, right? So, obviously, in these wee oil burner things, there's obviously two holes at the side where you can put the tea light into. And of course, as I moved the cardboard over, the cardboard had went into the tea light and I didn't realize it was lighting on fire because I was like, new makeup! <laughs> and I was like, what's that smell? And I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> oh my God, my kitchen was stinking. It was smoky. Oh my God. How I have survived in life thus far, I will never know. So not to alarm anybody, but I finally got the pink honey face frosting. I don't really need to give this an introduction. We all know what this is, right? So the shade I got was Toffee Truffle. And oh my God, I'm so happy. I'm so, so happy because I'm pretty sure. I feel like Beauty Bay sometimes can be very, very deceiving with their shades. So I was kind of playing a bit of a risque game there. But whenever I got it in the mail, that's looking good. It's not too bad of a shade. So I'm obviously just gonna try it on the skin and see how it is. This is how I see people on TikTok using it. So I'm gonna use it like this. So this is apparently supposed to be like the most pigmented cream bronzer. Yeah, that's that's looking like a really, really, really good shade for me actually. Shit. <coughs> right. Okay, gals. I'm just gonna put like a tiny wee bit on. I just want to see how that blends out and everything. See if that's a biscuit from yesterday's video. Yeah, I don't want the whole of the UK landing at my house um, with pitchforks, but it's, <laughs> it literally just looks as if I've used any other cream bronzer that I have in my collection. I'm going to be completely rash and put a wee bit more on just for like shits and giggles. Sure, what the hell. Don't get me wrong, as you've seen yourselves, <laughs> can I talk? Um, that blended out seamlessly, effortlessly. Honestly, that took no time at all to blend out. Considering how beautifully pigmented it is, it's just, it, it took no time to blend out because it's so nice and creamy. And like the color is quite nice and rich, but it's perfect. It's an absolutely perfect color. I'm so, so chuffed that I got the Trophy Truffle, tro tro Trophy Truffle? Trophy Truffle, fuck me. Because I feel like it's it's just nice, it's just perfect. Like it's not too orange, it's not too warm on me. And it's looking really nice on my skin. So it is. And that's my forehead as well. I always love whenever I do a bit of cream bronzer in my forehead. <laughs> I love it. I just feel like it just kind of ties everything together, a bit of cream bronzer. But yeah, it's looking good. It's looking really, really good. Ew. That's my eyes. So these are also brand new from Beauty Bay. Well, they're not like really brand new, but they're new enough. So uh, these are the liquid blushes. I have two shades here. They came out with four in total. Um, the shades I have is Peaches and Reef. The shades of these blushes are beautiful. That's the shade Peaches and that is the shade Reef. I'm just going to try the Peaches shade. The formula of them seems quite thick actually. I was expecting them to be a wee bit more liquidy. They kind of remind me of like a like a whipped sorbet type of formula. But yeah, and I really actually do like the formula of them. I actually prefer a thicker formula of cream blush than a thinner formula for some reason. But this is actually quite nice. Ooh. Oh, you say, do you know what? Yes. I knew I, I, knew I was gonna like these. I knew it. <laughs> That's why I bought two. Should have bought the four. <laughs> yeah. Really, really nice actually. That was super easy to blend out. Frig yeah, get more on. Get more on my face right now. The finish of it definitely has like a satin look to it. Like it's not too G. I would definitely say it's more of like a satin finish. Ooh yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're really nice actually. I'm gonna give these like a wee close up. Like even those edges and everything, the seamless. 
really really pretty and that colour is beautiful as well. So I bought this powder ages ago thinking that I was actually going to do a full face of Revolution Pro but I actually never ended up buying any more makeup of Revolution Pro to do a full face so it's obviously from Revolution Pro. <laughs> take a shot every time I say Revolution Pro. So um, it is their Goddess Glow Finishing Powder but it's got a wee bit of a glow to it. Oh beautiful. I love these powders but I kind of feel like you have to have a happy medium. You know there's a powder I have from Laura Mercier and it's a glowy setting powder but it's too glowy. It's really really too glowy to actually set your under eyes and like your whole face with it. I need to see this up close. Yeah, I can definitely see like a wee bit of like glue coming through. It's actually looking quite nice, but I'm not gonna speak too soon. I just wanna apply a wee bit more. I absolutely hate this packaging. This is not powder puff friendly. <laughs> How am I supposed to get my puff in there? Yeah, um, I don't know. So after I powder, that's whenever I will like to go in and set my skin um, with a setting spray to obviously soak up any of the excess powder and, you know, kind of bounce back my skin again. So this is, of course, the Pore Eclipse Matte Setting Spray. If you like pina coladas and getting caught in the rain. Now for highlight, this is new from Beauty Bay and it is their Golden Glow Highlight Palette. There's obviously a couple of shades in this and that's what I was obviously looking for but I can't see like any shade names or anything but I think this is, I'm guessing, I'm pretty sure it's obviously the lightest one. I wouldn't go for anything that was like medium or too dark or anything but that is the highlight shades. They look really, really nice, really nice and promising. I would say the only one I wouldn't be able to get away with is maybe this one. I'll give them a finger swatch first of all. They look really, really nice actually. Okay, <laughs> that was uh, anti-climatic. <laughs> I was expecting them to look like, <sighs> I'm just gonna go into like both of the shades. I'm just gonna use my finger actually and see if I can get somewhere. I don't really know if I like this or not. Yeah, no, 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 I don't like that at all actually. As I mentioned in yesterday's video that these are just new to me, I'm not too sure whether they're actually new products, but these are the matte bronzers. I have two shades here, I have medium and dark. For being medium and dark, before I opened these, whenever I got these in PR, I was like, they sent me medium and dark? What? <laughs> I, got, I got really panicky poos, right? Until I opened them and they're really not scary at all. So this one here is medium and this one is dark. These are not the shades that I was expecting to open up and see, right? So um, I think I might actually take the dark one <laughs> because like the medium looks good um, if I maybe just want like a nice wee soft sort of bit of bronze or something or even I'd probably be able to get away with this medium colour, not tan, so I'm going to take this one. And I'm just going to take the tiniest wee bit because, you know, me and cream bronzers, or powder bronzers, sorry. God's sake. Oh, shit. I've just done my lips because I don't actually have any new lip products. I rarely buy new lip products, like ever. <laughs> so I'm also going to be using this new palette that I got in PR. It's from What's Up Beauty. Geodes, 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 Geo, Gods, Geo, G E O D E S. How do you pronounce this? Or am I just illiterate? This is the palette. Um, I've actually just took like a wee Instagram story of it. It looks absolutely beautiful. And the shimmers in these palettes are stunning. Absolutely beautiful. Because I have my base already done, 
I can't put a shadow shield on, so I'm gonna use just one of these wee things here. This is gonna be so awkward. Since I'm left-handed, right, is that? Oh, I completely forgot to show you and tell you what shade I'm using. Hold on. I love making my life difficult. This is the shade I'm using, by the way. And then I'm going to do the shade Clay. Maybe Mitchell All Smudge No Budge Liner. I'm going to take that first shade and I'm going to take this on a wee Pete Louise brush. I'm just going to be stamping that on just in that inner corner. Just above my crease. And then just at that wee edge there, I'm just going to blur that out. And just like here. And I'm not going to blend this line at the inner corner. I kind of want it to be pretty straight. But I am going to blend in here at the inner corner. Like this area here. Although it doesn't really matter too much because we're going to be applying a bit of shimmer. So you're not really going to see it anyway. And then taking a wee bit of that terra shade and just placing that right in the inner corner. I'm going to take this green shade and I'm also taking this on one of my wee brushes from my collection. This is my 05. Just dragging it straight out, just like this one. I'm going to take a wee bit of the Made by Mitchell blush in the shade Drip Drip. This is also brand new. I didn't want it to literally be as strong and like pigmented like that pretty much so I just took this wee teensy tiny wee fluffy brush and I just went just to kind of get a wee bit of like the glitter particles it's literally just like a liquid glitter honestly like so nice and then with whatever excess is on the brush, just so many bristles. And like I would say you'd be able to just, you know, coat your finger in a wee bit of that glitter and just press it on. Just for a nice wee subtle veil of glitter. I will of course have everything that I used and list a link down below in the description box for you. I'm not going to go through every single product that I used. Sorry, I'm just, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> I think you can all gather throughout the tutorial there like what products I liked, what ones I didn't like. But definitely the products that did stand out were definitely the cream blushes from Beauty Bay and the Made by Mitchell Drip Drip. I definitely did like the face frosting. Um, and there was obviously a couple of products there that I also wasn't really too fond on either. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next one.